the mass of gas. In this experiment, we're going to see if we, um, well, if mass changes when we make a gas. First thing we're going to do is put a little water in the bottle, and then we're going to open up our Alka-Seltzer. We're going to put the Alka-Seltzer, the cap, and the bottle with the water in it on the balance. I'm going to read the balance. And we're going to record the mass. It's 143.74 grams. going to put the Alka-Seltzer in the bottle and quickly seal it. The Alka-Seltzer will begin to dissolve. Here I'm putting it in the neck of the bottle so that it doesn't immediately hit the water and start producing gas before I can get the lid on it. Okay, and then I'm going to tip it up and the Alka-Seltzer will fall into the water. Give it a couple of minutes to dissolve. There we can see that the Alka-Seltzer is pretty much dissolved. It's still fizzling a bit. I'll give it just a little bit more time. Shake it up and see if that helps make it go a little faster. Mass it again, and again it was 143.74, the same mass, so the mass did not change. What happens if we remove the cap? Will we be able to measure the mass that's left, lost? I'm going to shake it to get as much gas released as we can. Put it back on the balance and we're going to record the mass it's 140.33. So to find the mass of the gas that's lost, we're going to take our original number, 143.74, and subtract 140.33 from that. And that will give us the mass of the gas. This experiment also shows us how important a closed system is. Um, it shows us that if we don't take the cap off, then we have to worry about whether or not mass is either added or lost from the experiment because there is no closed system.